Hello everyone, I am Swati and this is video lesson number 3 on the chapter Lines and Angles. Student, in our previous videos, we learn about angles, types of angles and related angles that is complementary angles, supplementary angles, adjacent angles, vertically opposite angles and linear pair angles. Now student, we learn about angles and the related angles. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about some problems which is based on lines and angles okay so let's start A student the first problem which i have is find the measure of an angle if it is 14 degree less than three times its complement A student read the question carefully find the measure of an angle if it is 14 degree less than three times its complement here we don't know about the angle so what we have to do we have to assume a variable for the angle so let the angle be x degree if angle be x degree now what we have to find out then complement angle how we find complement angle one eight, sorry 90 degree minus x degree this is the complement angle now what the question says according to question find the measure of an angle if it is 14 less than 3 times its complement 14 less than angle is equal to 3 times its complement 3 times its complement that is 90 minus x now this angle is 14 if it is 14 less than 3 times its complement this is 14 less than so if we subtract from this side 14 degree then angle should be equal to this so we assume the angle as x degree so x is equal to this is 270 degree minus 3x minus 14 degree now we arrange the variable on one side is equal to 270 minus 14 degree so it is 4x is equal to 256 and x is equal to 256 by 4 we get the value of x is equal to 64 degree degree therefore the measure of angle the measure of the required angle is 64 degree what we do student first i assume here that the angle be x degree then the complement angle 90 minus x degree so here it is written that measure of an angle if it is 14 degree less than 3 times its complement 3 times its complement 14 less than by solving we get the value of x is equal to 64 degree it means the measure of the required angle is 64 degree now we move to our next question the next question is two supplementary angles are such that two times the measure of one is equal to three times the measure of the other student here we are talking about supplementary angles so what we have to do first let the angle be x then supplement angle how we find supplement angle 180 minus the given angle that is x this is the supplement angle. Now the question says student 2 times the measure of 1. 2 times the measure of 1 is equal to 3 times the measure of other. 3 times the measure of supplement. That is the other. So 2x is equal to 3 into 180. We get here 540 degree minus 3x. Now 2x plus 3x is equal to 540 degree. 5x is equal to 540 degree. 
So x is equal to 540 by 5. x is equal to we get here 108 degree. So the other angle is 180 minus x that is 180 minus 108 degree that is 72 degree. Therefore, the measure of angles are 108 degree and 72 degree. Okay. Here we assume that the angle is x then the supplement 180 minus x. Now the question says 2 times the one angle is equal to 3 times the other. By solving we get here the value of x is equal to 108 degree. It means one of the angle is 108. So other angle 180 minus 108 that is 72 degree. So the measure of the angles are 108 and 72 degree. Now we move to our next question. Student, the third question is in the given figure line AB and CD intersect at M, PM perpendicular to AB if angle DMB is equal to 20 degree find A, B, C and D. Student, here it is given that line AB and CD intersect at M and this angle given 20 degree we have to find rest of the angle. Now student here we see that PM perpendicular to AB. So first we find PM perpendicular to AB. If PM perpendicular to AB it means angle D is 90 degree. Therefore D is equal to 90 degree. We find the value of D that is 90 degree. Now student AB is a straight line so this angle plus this angle plus this angle is equal to 180 degree AOB is a straight line therefore angle AMP plus angle PMD plus angle BMD is equal to 180 degree and what reason we have to give here Angles on one side of a line. Okay. So AMP is 90 degree. PMD C plus 20 degree is equal to 180 degree. C is equal to 180 minus 110 that is 70 degree. So we find the value of C as 70 degree. Now student we see here AB and CD intersect at M. So this angle and this angle are vertically opposite angle. So what we have to write here AB and CD intersect at M. Therefore angle AMC angle AMC is equal to angle BMD angle BMD. So A is equal to 20 degree and what reason we have to put here vertically opposite angles. Okay. Now we find we have to find B. Student this angle plus this angle is equal to 180 degree by linear pair. So angle CMB angle CMB plus angle BMD is equal to 180 degree and the reason we put here linear pair CMB is B plus 20 degree that is 180 degree B is equal to 180 minus 20 that is 160 degree here we find Angle B is equal to 160 degree and A we find out 20 degree. Okay. What we did in this is question PM perpendicular to AB. So this angle is equal to 90 degree. Now AO, AMB. AMB is a straight line. So this angle plus this angle plus this angle is equal to 180. 90 plus C plus 20 is equal to 180. We get the value of C that is 70 degree. 
Now CD and AB intersect at M. So this angle is equal to this angle by vertically opposite angle. So angle A is equal to 20 degree. Now CMB and angle BMD are linear pair angle. So sum of this angle plus this angle 180 degree we get the value of B is equal to 160 degree. Now we move to our next question. Next question is two supplementary angles are in the ratio 4 is to 5. Find the angles. What is given a student? Two supplementary angles are in the ratio 4 is to 5. Find the angles. So what we have to do here? Let the supplementary angle Here the ratio given 4 is to 5. So we suppose the supplementary angles as 4x and 5x. Now student, what is the relationship between supplementary angles? Yes, the sum of two supplementary angles is equal to 180 degree. So 4x plus 5x is equal to 180 degree. 4x plus 5x that is 9x is equal to 180 degree x is equal to 180 by 9 we get the value of x as 20 degree so the angles are the first angle is 4x so it becomes 4 into 20 that is 80 degree and the next angle is 5x 5 into 20 that is 100 degree therefore the supplementary angles are 80 degree and 100 degree okay what we did in this question here the ratio of supplementary angles are given so assume we assume the angles as 4x and 5x now both are supplementary angles so the sum of supplementary angle is equal to 180 degree and by solving this we get the value is equal to 20 degree value of x is equal to 20 degree so the first angle is 4x, we get 80 degree, 5x, we get 100 degree. So 80 degree and 100 degree are the supplementary angles. Now we move to our next question that is the last one. If the supplement of an angle is 3 times its complement, if the supplement of an angle is 3 times its complement, find the angle. In this question, we are talking about supplement as well as the complement of an angle. So what we have to do is student, let the angle be x. Okay. Now what we find out first, first we find out complement angle. So how we find complement angle? 90 minus the given angle. This is the complement angle 90 minus x degree. Now we find the supplement angle. How we find supplement angle? 180 minus the given angle. Now what the question says, if the supplement of an angle is 3 times its complement. If the supplement, supplement angle is according to question 180 minus x, supplement angle is 3 times its complement. Here it is complement. Student, supplement angle is 3 times its complement. So, if we multiply the complement angle by 3, both the angles become equal. Now, we solve 180 minus x is equal to 270 minus 3x. Now, it becomes 3x minus x is equal to 270 minus 180. 3x minus x, we get 2x, 270 minus 180, we get 90. x is equal to 90 by 2, x is equal to 45 degree. Therefore, the measure of an angle is equal to 45 degree. Now, if we have to check, how we check? 
angle is 45 degree. So, what is the complement angle? Complement angle is 90 minus 45, 45 and what is the value of supplement angle? Supplement angle is 180 minus 45 that is 135. Here we see that the supplement angle is 3 times the complement. If we multiply 45 into 3, we get 135, okay? That is all for this video. Now take care, complete your assignment and keep practicing. Have a nice day.